stream starts. But of course, because I don't know exactly when the stream starts, there is a little bit of overlap. Hello and welcome to the stream. Uh, today we're going to do something a little different. Um, we're going to be offering free math, science, and programming help to the uh, billions of zero viewers that I have. Um, however, until someone shows up, uh, who then they will take priority. Uh, we're going to go to Brainly.com and um, and uh, try to help people there. So we're going to go ahead and join. Um, let's go ahead and get a free account. We already have an account with them, uh, but this is the um, you know this is just another account to create for um, uh, just for fun. So we're going to call this one Lapath Brain Barry Carter Info. Uh, pick a password now. Again, I could just... Oh, you know, I get the feeling that it is Pomodoro time. First time we're not doing it. Um, tempted to actually give you guys the password uh, because... But then you would be able to get into my account and do bad things to me. Sniff, sniff. And the way I generate passwords, one way to do it... Um, whoa. Oh, come on. Seriously? Hang on. Do I actually have that? I'm sure I do, but... Huh. Wow. I don't have it ported over here. Uh, so anyway, let me go ahead and do that. Let me go ahead and make a little password here. And, um... Wait. What the hell? Okay, system is behaving unusually. Please stand by. For some reason, my random password generator is not working. Um, hmm. And apparently, I don't have it in BC Git, although it's it's um, very very simple. Um, so that's kind of strange. Um, so stand by while I look into this. Wow. My system is collapsing into stupidity. All right, stand by while I try to speed up the system here. According to this, I am streaming excellently, but I'm apparently not doing anything else really well. Um, oh... Okay, someone is running a find command for some reason. Um, oh my. I could have sworn that I um could have sworn that I stopped all the uh, really nasty processes. So I'm just going to babble incoherently for a while until I figure out why this isn't working. Um, and I'll be brutally killing process, or I'll be stopping processes. I don't know if I'm ready to kill anything. Um, well, okay, I'm ready to kill this. You don't know what that this is, but I killed it. <coughs> I covered my hands, so you are not going to die. I mean, eventually you will. Okay, that's still, that seemed to help. And so, um, this is good, because it's killing time until someone shows up. Although, um, Oh, okay, there's something else I can kill here. I can kill off my sea monkey. Not the sea monkey, the character, but rather sea monkey, the uh, browser. Because I had that going. Okay, still not looking too good. Um, who is... Whoa, 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 whoa. There's another fine process that's being... Okay, something funky's going on, and I don't like it. Okay. Um. Well, let me stop the Wolfram kernel. That usually isn't too bad, but okay. All right, here we go. 
I have found a password. Um, so what am I calling this? And again, I could use my existing account. I just don't want to. Um, because, uh, okay. All right, and my birthday will be, when was I born? I don't know, July 8th. I'm really old. We'll say 1944. I do accept the terms. I don't know what they are, but I'll accept them. I accept everything. Um, let me sign up. Uh, I do want it to save. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Go fuck yourself. Ugh! Go fuck yourself some more. Uh, fuck yourself a third time. And I get the feeling, yep, there's one more fuck yourself. Okay. So now I should be able to, this with this fresh account, uh, answer some questions. And let's, I'm going to try not to answer the questions that are too trivial because we're just clear that someone's not done the work. So we're going to do mathematics, uh, college level, and of course we want the unanswered question. Um... Uh, and we're gonna try to we're gonna try to run the um, we're gonna try to run the gamut in the sense that we're going to try to answer questions as quickly as possible. Um, without, but you know, not looking at stupid questions, We're ignoring. Okay. Okay. All right. This is actually a pretty easy question here. Um, so let's let's get a, get our answer. I mean, not not a lot of work put into this. Um, perimeter of the window. So I think we can just say with some confidence. Ooh. Okay, that's not bad. That's that's actually a really good question. So now let's see if we can actually do this. Um, we're going to do this in a in a little you know side panel. Um, in fact, we will just do it in a, um, we'll just create a file for this. This is not going to be, obviously. Um, and I do need to make the directory. Yep. Okay. So now we can, I might, I probably should have copied the problem over, but I think we're okay here. Um, since the diameter of the circle, well, well yes, I, God damn. They're kind of cocksucky. Okay, I want to get out of this. I don't want to be... Um... Wow. Oh, hang on. This might be... Okay, they're being kind of a-hole. How do I get out of this? I don't want to. I don't want to answer. Okay, maybe I can do this. Um, yes, I want to quit. Okay, so let me go ahead and write up the answer before I answer. Uh... Okay. Okay. Since the diameter of the of the circle is, I'm probably going to have to do this a little bit cleaner here. Is five feet. The perimeter of the full circle would be five times pi feet, or about. I probably should not be doing this. 15.7 feet. However, since we're only looking at a half circle, I could say semicircle, but that wouldn't be helpful. The perimeter is half that of the half circle is half that or about um, I don't know, what is it? 7.9 feet. I'll say 7.85 feet, so it's clear how I got that number. Um, the other part of the perimeter is the straight, is the diameter itself. So we add, I don't know if that's really helpful, 5 feet to get a total of 12.85 feet. That's that's a pretty cool answer, huh? 
Um, so now, this is just hideously bad, uh, but fortunately, I think I can, and do I have an answer to my first question? Ta-da! And I earned five points, which are meaningless, valueless points, but hey, they're points. All right, let's go ahead and do a reload here, because I know that these questions come in pretty fast. Gah! They're trying to be assholes here. I mean, they're not trying. They're trying to give me questions I want. See, that one's too easy. Um, let's see, I don't think this is going to be a great question. Um, yeah, that's, there's no question there. Right, rectangular prism. Um, ooh. Now this looks pretty damn good. This looks pretty, pretty challenging here. It's also the kind of thing you d I don't think someone else is going to jump in on. Um, uh, use, okay. I think there's more answers here. Um, given and sample data, um, please provide sample data and additional uh, choices for answers, because it does look like, um, awesome, that worked, good deal, we're cranking. Um, Mm. <whistles> nice. Okay, uh, hang on. Um, I think we're gonna have to ask for details here. Um, I think this question is incomplete. Could you provide more information? Booyah! So that's probably what I'm going to end up doing with like 90% of these. Um, what is the image of 5, 6 under reflection? That's actually a good question. I'm wondering if I should um, say I can't really GeoGebra it. Okay, this looks pretty interesting. Uh, population has been... Um, People determine the percent decrease. Is okay, that's pretty simple, actually. Let me go ahead and do it over here, just so we have it. Okay. There are now 118 million people versus... If they asked for it annually, that would be kind of cool, though. Um, then it would be like... Determine the correct percent decrease during the time period. Okay. Now there are now. And there were 127 million people. If we divide 118 million by 127 million, this might be the most useless stream I've done, so I'm very happy about that, actually. Um, I could probably even use Mathematica, uh, math, Emacs' own built in. Uh, that's about 92.9%. Um, 118 over 127? Yeah, that's right, huh? God, I hope someone shows up. Um, 92.9%. 92.9%. That's a decrease of 7.1% from 100%. So the population decline over the 20-year period is 7 Curios is 7.1%. Let's see if I can nail this and get this in before anybody else does. Total, total waste of time, by the way. Okay. Step by step. Step by... So I think there was a sitcom called step, step by Step. So there we go. I am now getting more points. I am so special. Um, oh, I like this one. This is actually, this one's actually kind of cool. 
And I guess I should probably start copying the ones that don't require additional information because it's so much easier. Oh, come on. Um, okay, close enough. Remember that multiplying by 10 moves the decimal to the right. So if you multiply by 10, you get the same thing, except with. If you keep multiplying by 10, oh, hang on. So another way to write this number would be, oh god, come on, that was terrible. Um, which is true. Um, quite work because uh, the numerator 37 point blah blah blah. Uh, god damn it. Seriously? Uh, is still not a whole number. But if you keep multiplying by 10, you will get uh, numerator and denominator by 10. You will eventually get, I'm getting the feeling this is not going to be, I don't actually know how many times you have to do this. I think it's 10 to the 10th. Um, yeah. Score American. Who yeah 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 yeah. That is ten to the ninth. This is ten to the tenth. Now, you just need <laughs> need to simplify. Um. You just need to simplify. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna cheat this because I don't think. Um, oh, actually, hang on. This hello, Milkister Moo. I am a good man. I am. Uh, I've been doing this for ages, of course, and I'm not a good man. And actually, there's a good way, to, easy way to prove this is actually. Um, um, let's see, because the denominator. <coughs> 10 bajillion, 10, actually that's 10 billion, um, has only twos and fives as factors because it is a power of 10. And the numerator does not have any factors of two or five because it is not even and does not end in five or zero, I'm hoping people know what the hell I'm talking about, no simplification is possible. Thus, thus, the answer is blah, blah, blah. Okay, let's see if, let's see if we can get away with this. Um, maybe someone's already answered it, maybe someone hasn't. And the answer is this sucker. Ah! Yay. Okay, and the step-by-step -step explanation is I don't, my life is, um, is a mess. But that's my solution. That's a step-by-step -step explanation of my life. All right, so let's see what this does. Okay, so I'm getting some points here. I don't know what the, whoa. Multiply fraction. Well, that's um, certainly another way of, of doing it. All right, let's go ahead and reload now because I think we're getting... Um, I want to be hitting the top of the questions here. Milkister Moo, if you have any questions in math 
or you just want to fucking talk about something, let me know. Determine whether the following ge that's a good question actually. That's a that's a reasonable question. All geometrics are oh nice. Whoa, your mama. Okay, this is pretty cool. Um three over okay, okay, yeah, we could do this. We can do this. Um Hello Natalie, how are you? Oh ha 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 ha. Yeah, you're so funny. Okay, it is Pomodoro time. Well, I think I'll stay here because you guys are here. I will skip the Pomodoro time. Okay. 3 to the K over 4K plus 2. Let's see if we can do with this. I will put a separator here. Uh, 3 to the K over 4 to the K plus 2. From K equals 1 to... Um, from K equals 1 to infinity. I think that was correct. It is. I'm skipping. Okay, okay, okay. Get some sleep, Natalie. Okay. Let's write out the first few terms of this sequence um, from k equals 1 to k equals 3. This gives us 3 over... Ah, fuck me. Um, oh, I... God, if I'm still here when you wake up, uh, then you haven't slept enough. Um, oh, actually, hang on. Three to the... I'm going to be really, really simple here with this. Um, just to make it clear um, that what we're doing here is is, um, do I want to, I want to put these in parentheses, even though I don't really need to by the order of operations, because it's going to confuse the crap out of people otherwise. 3 squared over 4 to the um, 2 plus 2 plus 3 cubed over 4 to the 3 plus 2. And I'll put a dot, dot, dot here. 11 p.m. is not that, but I mean, whatever. GLHF. Uh, I think you've already told me where, where you live, roughly, Mokis Uh Oh, computing that into regular numbers. We have... Uh, what's 4 to the 3rd? 64. Uh, 9 over 4 to the 4th. Oh, geez. Um, 64 times 4 is going to be 256. Let me make sure I got this correct. I'm pretty sure that 4 to the 4th is the same as 2 to the 8th, which is 256. Uh, okay, and then 3 to the 3rd is 27 over 1024. Um, uh, okay. Um, okay, whatever. Um, so I'm going to say sum equals, I'm just going to cheat and use the variable here. Now. What happens if we multiply both sides by, I think it's just 3 over 4, right? Um, <laughs> it is 3 over 4, but do I want to do that? I guess I could multiply it by 4 over 3, which is probably easier. Uh, which we get from the 3 and the 4 in the problem. This gives us 4 thirds times sum equals 
Are you guys still talking about stuff? Good night, Natalie. Sleep well. Dream of either me or Milkister Moo or your current boyfriend. Any of those is acceptable. Um, so let's go ahead and do this. I am being, like, insanely specific here. Now, I'm, now I know I don't teach anymore. Which computes out to... Um, 4 thirds times 364. I think that's 1 over 16, but let me make sure. La, 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 la. Actually, I could probably do that in Emacs, but anyway, whatever. Ah, come on. Behave. 16. 1 16th plus. Now, this one better turn into 364th, or I'm doing something wrong. Um. Okay, hang on. We got some oscillating term mention. Ooh, no, no, don't do that. I didn't want to do that. Uh, okay. And this better be freaking 364ths. So let's make sure it is. It is. Plus, this one better be... Hang on. This one is this, and this one better be 9 over 256. Because if it's not, I'm screwed. So that times this better be 9. Yep, 9 over 256. Da, da, da. Uh, okay. The infinite term is zero and the terms don't oscillate, so convergent proved. Nope, that's not sufficient for convergence. That is a lie. Um, just because a sequence uh, has a, like one over n, for example, uh, is a, is, has its infinite term is zero, so to speak, but if it doesn't add up, it doesn't converge. So no, it's not sufficient that the uh, last term goes to zero. The harmonic series diverges. Boy, but the time I'm taking to answer this, I think someone else is going to answer it, but I don't care. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, uh, now, if we subtract... Um, okay, wow. That's... Not the burp. I mean, that I'm, I, I'll own the burp, but I can't believe that you're just saying, well, screw the kids. Just tell them. This is, okay, you're trying to make me mad again, but you're not going to succeed, because you know that I hold math as being holy. Um, so you're just trying to just say, oh, who cares about math? I, am, I have seen what you're trying to do, and uh, you're a good troll. And good, good trolling there. It's not going to work, though. Um, sum from, this is like the hard way of explaining it. Um, yeah. Notice that most of the terms cancel out. We are left with 4 thirds times sum minus sum equals 1 over 16. Um, um, solving this algebraic equation gives us sum equals four thirds minus that's one third three thirds three sixteen and am I yes I think that's that's actually correct and now we're gonna just make sure by doing this and seeing how close it is to um, three sixteenths that's not good where did I fuck that up Panic, panic, panic immediately. Four thirds, that's one third. <sighs> well, okay, hang on. Um, I think you told me once, um, it's in the United States somewhere. Um, 
why won't they accept this type of solution? This is actually how you derive the formula for, for, for the series. This is actually a better solution than the ones. I'm going to go ahead and run Maxima to confirm that I fucked this up somehow. Um, some blah, 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 blah. K1 inf. That, that's what I said. <laughs> Um, um, give me the floating point value of that then. Oh, maybe inf isn't what I want it to be. Hang on. I think that actually has to be infinity. And it may even have to be... God damn. Ah, uh, maybe it have to be plus infinity. Okay, something's wrong. Um, shiny. Um, I get the feeling that is not going to be what I want. Oh, it is. It is three sixteenths. So somehow I fucked this up, but um, I think you did tell me once. But you know, on, there's two things. Number one, I'm not. Gonna, I don't want to go and uh, check the uh, logs or whatever and look through all my previous streams. And number two, I don't really care. Um, so there. If you, if you want, you can tell me where you're from. If you don't, you don't have to. Don't give a rat's ass. Um, I still like you as a person, but your geographical location is not of deep interest to me. So in the time that I... Why the hell did I not get this answer from this, though? This should be pretty close, right? I mean, 27 over 124 is... I don't know why that's not working, but okay. I guess that's... Huh. I guess that's still pretty big. We're sliding some pretty big numbers. Um, so I actually have very cleverly avoided um, answering the part whether it, I mean, it obviously converges, uh, but I've avoided answering that part. So now, uh-oh, Some, something's going on. Okay, now I want to answer this question. 3 over 16 converges. And now we will explain what this is. Um, da, 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 da. Let the answer be added. Okay. Um, oh, help more people? Yeah, I will be helping more people. Okay, do you, you want to tell me where you live, or you want to give me a hint, or you want to play a game on a map? We can do all that. If you don't, I don't care. Um, oh, wow. According to the email that I received, I, I have to complete my um, registration before I can help. Um... I have to verify my email, but okay, let's see, blah, 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 blah. Wait, 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 no, I, well, apparently it is giving me mathematics anyway, so I don't care. The measure of an inscribed circle of an angle is the measure of the intercepted arc. Holy crap. Uh, inscribed angle, circle of an angle. God damn, that's probably true, actually, I mean... Um, how would you prove that? Um, even though I never told you, maybe you can, uh, well, tell me, how do you need, what sort of help? I can't offer you psychological help, though, unfortunately. I mean, I can, but it won't be very good. So, I'm much happier to help people on my stream than to help random strangers. What the hell is this? I'm confused now. Um, Okay. 
Well, tell me how. I'll go ahead and verify my email address for these losers. But um, uh, while I'm doing that, you can tell me how I can um, help you. Okay. Uh, unless you're joking and just want me to help you in terms of. Um, Complete registration. You'll be able to get updates, and oh god, that's cool. In the sense that it's not. So now I've basically just spammed myself. Um, but okay. Oh, that's not really a math question, but I, th I mean, I don't actually. If you if you watch carefully, most of my streams are less than two hours long. Um, so I basically, I, it, I don't, the Pomodoro method does help a lot. Um, if there's nobody, in, if there's someone in stream to talk to, it's really easy to sort of not have to Pomodoro around. Uh, but when there's no one in stream, just getting up and every 20 minutes walking around and, um, and just sort of, it'll give you a fresh insight on the problem you're working on. It might suddenly say, oh my God, I've been working on that problem for, you know, 40 minutes or 60 minutes. I need to move on to something else and maybe come back to it. Um, it sort of helps you realize that if you've been banging your head against a problem for too long, you might want to stop or you might want to, you know, you might want to change the way you're doing it. Google for the answer, look at a different problem for a while, um, ask a simpler question. Uh, there's actually a whole uh, list of problem solving techniques um, that can help you that basically say, take, you know, if you can't answer this problem, can you answer a similar one, a simpler one, a, a harder one maybe? Sometimes that helps because sometimes the problem you're solving is part of a much bigger problem that has been solved. Um, yeah, but if you look at what I'm doing too, there's a lot of a lot of distraction in my streams. Uh, it takes me um, it takes me a long time. I mean, I basically, if you look at the stuff I program. It could take me two hours to program something that if someone knew what they were doing, they could just slap it down in five minutes. So, so there is a lot of waste time, I think, in what I'm doing. Um, I even told someone once, uh, I won't mention his name, but um, I even told someone once, um, if you could find a way to, if you could find a way to eliminate the time programmers spend, look, you know, banging their head against a wall and then finding a simple answer, then that would be, then we would have everything. That would be, you would be rich forever. You would have, you would be the best coder in the world. Uh, so the banging your head time seems like it's a significant portion of what I do. Um, okay, studying the, okay, so, okay. That's a, that's a tough question. Um, if you're doing it for fun, I assume that math anxiety isn't a problem. I assume you don't look at the problems and suddenly get nervous or scared of the problems. Uh, it's just a question of you, you're not learning enough um, to, get the, um, to get the problems going. Um, I, I don't know how to help you with that. Um, that's, I mean, that could be an attention issue. You mean, and you know, not everyone there are attention deficit medications and counseling available, but that's not necessarily what you have. Uh, it might be just that uh, math bores you. I don't know. But that's, a, that's more of a psychological issue, and I'm having trouble with that. However, I will offer you this. If you want to study with me online, uh, either through, you know, whatever, however we could do it, I would be happy to help you study. And maybe but probably not, the way I teach it might be more easy to understand or easier to remember, although, of course, it's quite possible and likely that the way I do it is much harder and will make your head hurt. Um, so, that's my answer. I want to... So this means someone's looking at it? Ooh, shiny. Uh, yeah, I'm intercepted... I kind of want to look at this one, even though I don't think I can answer it. You're quite welcome. And again, if you want to start now, let me know uh, where you're studying, 
what you're studying. If you want to get onto the stream, I think you've been on the stream before through Discord. That's totally cool with me. I would much rather help you than these losers on Brainly.com. That's right. I said losers on Brainly.com. So if I've helped you, uh, I probably think you're a loser. <laughs> okay. Um, oh, Austin is the person who asked it. It's the measure of the intercepted arc. Wow. I mean, I'm tempted to go to something like GeoGebra and and actually show why that's true. Um, so I don't know if this is a this is a hard problem. Do I want to solve it or do I want to kind of go for the gold and solve more problems instead of uh, good problems like this one? Um, measure of an inscribed is the measure of the intercepted arc. Yeah, let's take a look at this. I think this is kind of clever. All right, it's Pomodoro time, but I'm not going because our good friend Milkister Moo is here. Okay. I probably, yep, okay, I'll sign it. It doesn't really matter, though. And start graphing. Whew. Whoa, 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 whoa. We've removed... The, the graphing features, like literally the one thing that makes this useful. Um, okay, what this is? I always end up going to the wrong one. Because this is not what I want, actually. This is what I want is the thing that lets you draw uh, images and stuff. Um, I think that's GeoGebra 2D. And that's, that's what I'm looking for. Now, if I want to leave the page. Classic. 2D. Okay, no, this is not how it usually looks, so you're lying about it being classic. And let's get this thing moved away over here. And I don't even think we need the grids for this. We, may, we can maybe keep them, but... Um, um, can we get rid of them? Okay. So now we just want an angle. Waka waka. Okay. Nope, that's not what I wanted. Um, I've put the angle in the wrong direction. Come on, move. Seriously? Um, oh, this is going to open the angle downwards. Okay. Uh... Well, now, don't, don't undersell the problem. Tell me what the problem is. Um, I mean, you know, if I'm going to help you, I'm going to help you. Don't, don't, don't say you shouldn't help me. Uh, if you want help, ask for help. If you don't want help, don't ask for help. But I, don't tell me I'm not going to find I don't know if I'm gonna, Helping people is fun. And even if the problem is less fun, the helping people part could put it over the top. So um, let me actually... Oh, now this is where a grid would be helpful. Because um, usually the way I think of angles is like this. Um, so let's go ahead and get our grid back. Oh. Hey, how do I get my grid back? Oh, axes. Nope, I don't want, I want grid. I don't want axes, though. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and put this over here. Snap to. Put this over here. This one we don't need to snap. Just do that. It doesn't really matter what the angle is. Um, and I think just to make life useful, we're going to do... Um, oh, come on. Line segment. Really? Okay, technically I did say line. Um, and we're going to go from here to here. Um, and then we're going to inscribe a circle inside of this sucker and see that the angle is the same. And, oh, no, 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 didn't mean to do that. Wow. Man, that's hurtful. I do want to help people. Um, I also want to solve problems. There, there's two things I want to do. 
what I'm doing here today now is I'm helping people with problems that I already know how to solve. Uh, we're not really adding any, any value. I mean, I'm not gaining any knowledge from any of this. Um, but, uh, but, um, no, that's okay. It was, it just came off as a little rude. Um, I want to help. So today I want to help people. And I usually I want to help people with stuff I already know. When that's not possible, I'm happy to do stuff that is new to me as well. And this problem is interesting because it's sort of, it's both. I mean, I don't think it's difficult. I think this is a very easy thing to show. Um, and it's going to come out very obviously when you draw the circle, but I'm still kind of interested in how this goes because I don't rem I don't remember doing a problem like this. It's one of those things that is almost definitely true, um, but is but is um, but I haven't personally proven this. Yes, 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 yes. I do have a writing tab tablet actually, um, and I need to get it set up. I don't know if it's going to work with my Linux system, but yes, I do have a writing tablet. I do understand that writing horizontally is so much easier than writing vertically, um, and 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 yeah. So that's that would be a nice. That's one nice thing about GeoGebra is it does help you. Uh, it does help you um, write things sort of clearly. Um, but no, I agree with you. I definitely need to use my writing tablet. So now, circle. There's no such thing here as an inscribed circle. Um, circle with center to point. That's an ellipse. So we might actually have to make our own little circle here. Um, and inscribe it because, I mean, there's probably some magical way to make an inscribed circle here. Um, but I don't know what it is. Circle through three points. No, we don't want that. All right, just do this. So we'll put a circle here with a point. Right now here, we're going to obviously need to move this stuff around. Um, don't think I need a... Uh, okay, come on. Go away. Oh, Jesus, come on. Okay, we'll just move these out of the way for right now. So what I need... To, oh, two, 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 two. Okay. Now the question is, is that the only circle you can inscribe in this? Because if there's another one, um, the problem is kind of effed. So here's another circle. Okay, this is not looking great here. Um, we should be able to prove that this is not, there's only one circle that satisfies the, the condition. Um, and yet, oh shit, nope, don't want to do that, escape, 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 delete delete. Oh, come on! Seriously? Okay. So now, if I can extend C... Oh, ooh, this is not looking good. Okay, okay, no, there is really only one circle that you can inscribe in here. Um, and we can probably prove that in just a second, so we're going to go ahead and take this guy and get rid of him. Uh, I don't know where the hell this guy came from, but he's gone. Okay, so go ahead and ask your question when you're ready. I think we're going to... Yeah, okay. Um, okay, so now the, the important things here are uh, the two radii that we're going to drop. Segment with given length. I need to draw a perpendicular. Um, perpendicular line segment. Oh, come on. Really? <sighs> Point and perpendicular line. Yep. 
Um, and then we need another one from here to here. I am unhappy though, so point line. Okay. Um, so the issue here is going to be that this is a right angle, this is a right angle. Hello, SSH. How are you doing? How are you doing? Good to see you. How can I help? I will. I will. This is a question I'm answering on Brainly. I can totally interrupt it for you. Plus, I get the feeling it's going to be difficult, so I'm not sure that I want to do it. Um, so go ahead and ask your question, SSH, and I will try to help you. Um, and while we're waiting, if, if you know, if I'm not sure you want to ask a question, I'll go ahead and return to this, but I will interrupt this the moment you ask a question. So please feel free. Okay, so now... Um... You know what, I think in order to find this correctly, I could have done just a ver uh, perpendicular line to this, perpendicular line to this, see where they meet, and, and then draw the circle with that center and with a radius to one of the points. So let me go ahead and, and do that. So, goodbye. So the circle is probably not drawn correctly. I think that's the, uh, that's the issue. Okay, so let me go ahead and get a line that's perpendicular to this line. Um, select point and perpendicular line. Um, okay. Uh, I, guess I, I guess it could be anywhere. That, there's something wrong with my, my saying that. And then a perpendicular to the other line. Okay. Yep. Oh, you need to put it somewhere. Okay. Mm. There's something funky going on here. All right. So I get the feeling I'm not doing this right. Okay. So on an inscribed circle, meaning I need a circle with the radius perpendicular there, perpendicular there. So that one's probably kind of easy. Because there's an a there's a infinite. I mean, that's pretty easy in the sense that it's going to go straight up the y-axis. Um, but how do I make it so this? I guess the distance is. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So I need a line that's perpendicular to this, perpendicular to this, and this distance and this distance are equal because they're going to be the two radii of my circle. Um, so how do I accomplish that? Um, Hmm. I mean, I'm almost sure I need to draw a perpendicular. Oh, let's see. Um. Yeah, I mean, at some point I'm going to need to draw a perpendicular line. Circle through three points. Um. I think I'm going to need to do more on this one. All right, let's do perpendicular line here. Oh, have it go through A for no good reason. Another one here that goes through. No, let's not do that. Through like here, and then we'll go back to the mo moving things. Okay, so these two lines are both perpendicular. We now need them to be. Uh, we need a point that's okay. Wow. So we need, come on. Why can't I move you, Mr. Line? Oh, I need to move to point E. Okay, so we need, uh, yeah, 
I don't know if this is actually, um, I mean, you could compute this algebraically, but I don't know if that's actually, uh, there's a way to do this in GeoGebra. Um, so basically we have to say this is a, a point where, um, ooh, that might not be easy. Okay, so we're going to go and fake it again. I'm just going to draw a circle and we're going to pretend that those are perpendiculars when we solve the problem. So let's go ahead and do this. Um, yeah, and we'll just do it here. It doesn't really matter because we're going to change it. Um, and then we need to probably make this circle smaller and a little bit more like... No, 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 no. Okay, we do not know for a fact that this circle has is perpendicular to both of these. Uh, we're just pretending. Um, so give me a point on the intersection of this guy and this guy. That was not cool. Intersection of this guy and this guy. So I have not made the circle quite big enough. I need to make it just a teeny bit bigger. Crap, and I need to do it this way. Oh, and my points suddenly show up then. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. Okay, screw that. Screw my invisible points. Undefined. Screw you, screw you, screw you. Okay. That's enough screwage. So apparently I'm going to have to fake the perpendicular lines as well. That's okay. Um, so I'll go from here. About there. From here. to this one's easy because it's going to be, it's going to be vertical. Delete, 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 delete. Okay. Just a bit over here. So this is my ugly diagram. These are right angles. The point D is necessarily a, um, an angle bisector, I think. So what we're trying to show is that this, this can't be 36.5 degrees. It's way too big. Um... So this is going to be the, um, so what are we trying to show actually? I mean, this is definitely not 36, is it, is it each half angle is 36, like this angle is going to be 36.5 degrees, uh, the same as the, and if that's true, we have this, this, and, okay, let me go ahead and draw the line from, uh, B through, nope, we're going to need a line this time for real, not just a segment. Nope, we're going to need a ray, just line going in one direction. From B through D. There we go. Okay, and I know there's a lot of crap in terms of, uh, st we can get rid of the labels before we take a snapshot of this to, to, to answer the question. Okay, so can we prove this is an angle bisector? I'm almost sure we can because this are these similar triangles? I mean, they they share they definitely share r the radius. They definitely share one angle, the right angle. Um, but do they share this side? And that's that's probably where we're looking at now. Um, Hmm. So let's see. So I think what we're trying to say is that this angle here 
is equal to this angle here. Um, so they sh oh okay okay hang on these they okay 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 these two tri triangles FBD and BGD share this side J okay they share an angle and they share another side okay so they are they are in fact um, they are in fact congruent triangles. Okay, good. From that, we should be able to get some more information out of this. Um, so what does that tell us? That tells us that BD, this, this angle here and this angle here must be identical. Um, because, because they're similar triangles. Okay, it is Pomodoro time, and I'm going to take it this time back in two minutes and two seconds.
almost back. Two more minutes. Issues have occurred. Okay, we are almost back. <sighs> Let's see. And we're back. Okay. All right, so what we found here is um, we have two right triangles. This side is R for both of them. This side is, I don't know what length that is, but it's the same uh, because it, they share the side which means that BG and BF must be also equal. I don't know if that helps us any, which means if we were to draw this line here, this would be an isosceles triangle, uh, but I don't know if that helps us any either. Um, so the, I don't think the problem we're trying to solve is now correct because this is alpha over two. Um, this is 90, so this would be 90 minus alpha over two. And this would also be 90 minus alpha over two, which would be 180 minus alpha. It's the supplementary angle. Um, so let's, I don't, so I don't think the statement's actually true anymore. Measure of an inscribed circle of an angle is the measure of the intercepted arc. Um, uh, well, the intercepted arc is this thing right here, and its measure is clearly not uh, it's clearly bigger than this measure. However, uh, we can now do the standard, uh, uh, I worked hard on it and I don't think this is true. Uh, uh, uh. Okay, which sounds pretty pathetic. Okay, so let's go ahead and, uh, let's go ahead and clean some of this up. Um, uh, let's avoid, I'm going to try to avoid as many labels as possible um, without without screwing up the problem, obviously. Okay, I do need a label. Okay, so we'll move this label around right here. I think I can just call this angle uh, FBG. Um, and honestly, I probably don't need... Um, now wait, I get the feeling that... Oh no, what? What is this then? Okay. Um, okay, apparently we don't need that. And we're gonna get rid of some of these as well. Just the labels, obviously. Because we already kind of have labels for them. No, 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 not you. Oh, you had a different label. Okay, so hang on. Don't show label. Don't show label. Where the hell are you coming from? Oh, okay, we are. Wait, 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 wait. Where is the C coming from? Can I just delete you? Oh, that's the circle. Um, okay. Um... I do want to call this angle something. Um, just the name, though. There we go. Back to my little, this thing. Just want the freaking label. How do I do this without it looking stupid? 
I think the fact that they're both green is going to be sufficient to um, um, you know actually I don't really need that because I actually do because I, I it's I mean it is angle FBG but I mean I don't necessarily want to say that okay so now do I have enough um, hello 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 oh sure yeah the measure of an inscribed circle of an angle is the measure of the intercepted arc. Um, if you have thoughts on that, let me know. Um, my answer is going to be that no, it's not, but it's it's computable from that. Uh, if you have an answer for me, let me know, Milk Stream, if I'm misunderstanding the question. Um, Um, on this point, we don't actually want to, I mean, probably need it for the circle, but we don't want to show it. Also, my labels are kind of silly because it, it looks like A and E are missing, but that's okay. Okay. Um, I gotta be, I gotta cheat a little bit here. I wonder if I can just actually, um... I don't think I need this line. I could just create a line segment from B to D. There we go. And get rid of this stupid thing. Except not, because I don't know what the hell I'm doing. Okay. Uh, so now we need to kind of, kind of figure this out. Ooh, this is Brainly. Okay, so we'll just put a little marker to separate. Um, I don't think the statement is true. Yeah, I think it is. It might be talking about some other angle, but I don't really see any other angle here that's going to be equal to, al to, to angle alpha. All right. The statement is true, but you can, I guess I need to capitalize that because I'm being smartass, can compute the intercepted arc um, um, from the angle, from the angle, yeah, okay. Let me now... I think we don't even need... No, I don't want the grid anymore. Uh, oh, that looks kind of stark now. But okay. Screenshot! I need a screenshot! Although I, I'm broadcasting, so... Export image? Um, download? Okay, where did I download it to? GeoGebra X. It's a very good name for it. Uh, so I should now just be able to... Um, Okay. Oh, that looks much nicer, actually, than, um... Ooh, now, do I want to get rid of these extra lines going here, or... Crap, I do. Oh, well, the inscribed circle is going to be the circle that has the property that it, it's, it touches both uh, sides uh, perpendicularly. So, that, that part is actually correct. So now, let me go ahead and get rid of this line. Let me undo that. Uh, undo. Oh, redo. Redo. Okay. Um, so what I can do here is say, don't show the object, don't show the object, and then just construct. <laughs> I like the way Alpha is just kind of sitting out there now. Uh, just construct the segments between B and F and B and G and do not label them and yes I am now beginning to pick at this problem to the extent that it is um, well I mean inscribed I, th I think that um, I'm okay with that part of it uh, triangles also have inscribed circles and in fact this ooh 
this actually is the inscribed circle for some triangle because you could draw a other line here. That'd be kind of fun, but I'm not going to do that because I don't think we we need to. Download, it's going to be now GeoGebra 2 something, I think. Um, GeoGebra export 1, because of course the original is named, doesn't have a name. Whoa! That is not what I wanted. I mean, that's freaking huge. Um, I don't have face at. Let me just do. I hate doing this because the XV is not the the right thing to use ever. Oh, and actually, I guess I can crop this. Uh, okay, where to go? Um, okay. All right, this is getting ugly. Um, I'm going to look at what you said in just a sec, Milkis. I'm trying to figure this out right now. Um, and I think I effed something up, so hang on one second here. Okay, so this is this. I think I used auto crop when I meant to use just plain crop. And then save as I'll call it student1, which doesn't make any sense. Okay. Okay. So now I can look at this image while I write up my answer. Um, the measure of an inscribed angle is equal to half the measure of the intercepted arc. Uh, that is true. Um, Yeah, that that actually is kind of what we're proving, because 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 these triangles here are similar, uh, which means which means this angle and this this is an angle bisector. DBF and DBG are the same angle. These are both right angles here, um, and that means this angle must be the same. So yeah, that's. Um, No, you can, you can. Um, this arc has an angular measure of FDB because it's this angle here. This arc has the exact same measure, it turns out. Uh, but if you're talking about the whole arc here that's intercepted, that is angle FDG, and we do measure it. It's 180 minus alpha. It's the supplementary angle to alpha. Um, so yes, you can, you can measure an angle from the center of a circle of an arc. It basically means how far the arc goes, how big the arc is in terms of the circle. Um, okay, so now we need to do, god damn it, my kingdom for a bigger screen or better eyes. Um, yes, the angle of the arc. Yeah, that, so you're saying the verbiage here is kind of bad. Uh, let's take a look at the problem here. So you can find the problem here. Um, yep, you're right. The measure of an inscribed... This is, this is a um, poorly phrased question. I'm sure they meant to say the measure of an angle in an inscribed circle... Oh, no, wait, wait, wait. Yeah, I, I'm sure they meant to move these words around to where they made sense, but you're correct. The measure of an inscribed circle of an angle I, the measure of the intercepted arc of an inscribed circle of an angle is equal to um, the angle itself, I think. Um, yeah, so I, I think this is, I understand what the question's asking, but you are correct in saying that it is not, um, it is, the verbiage is incorrect here. But I, I think I know what they mean. Um, yeah, and, and a lot of these people, I'm about to say, a lot of these people, like, I'm, uh, this is very racist. Um, a lot of people who ask questions on these sites are not necessarily uh, Americans or native English speakers, so I try to understand what they're saying. Obviously, in some cases, it's just impossible. 
Uh, I am not going to do Pomodoro, but I am going to get myself a drink, so I'll be back in about a minute. Wait a minute. If you are a person of color, I cannot be racist, right? And what color? I mean, everyone's a person of color. It just depends on what co the color is. You know, I just found an easier way to prove this. Um, the angles of a quadrilateral add up to 360. So you have 90, 90, alpha. Uh, two... So the only possible thing this could be is 360 minus 180 minus alpha. God. Oh, thank you. Um, it's very nice of you. Um, you don't even... But what color? I mean, you can only give me the races and pass on your race. So if I'm insulting another race, still not okay. Technically, it's not even okay to insult your race, I realize. Um, well, crap. Um... Uh, well, fuck. Should I do it? Th I should do it the easy way, shouldn't I? Oh, man. Okay, let me make sure the angles of a quadrilateral add up to... Uh, I know they do, though. Angles of quadrilateral sum to what? 360. Oh, of any convex quadrilateral. And you know what? Maybe I'll add that as a um, I'll add that as a secondary explanation. Um, convex quad. In case we're gonna jump from here straight to. See, I'm trying. Oh, I'll go ahead and minimize this. All right, here we go. Um, I think that that statement in and of itself is racist. Um, so, like, the darker you are, the you can pass, you can give a racial pass. Nope, nope, nope. I'm not going to get into this. This is this is where danger begins. This is where you s slowly go from having a, a stream that people... Can, uh, becoming a racist. This is like the first step to becoming a racist. Um, you can compute the intercepted arc of the angle. Okay. Um, oh, crap. I'm not happy about this anymore. Now, I think we need to use the convex quadrilateral. Bummer! Which means we almost don't need this diagram. Um, so, screw me. Nope, that's what I meant to do. Delete. Uh, don't label. Don't label, and we can move you back over here. Oh, can we move your label? Yeah, there we go. Um, and I guess if I'm going to be clever, I'm going to make the little right angle symbol. Um, 
How do I? There's a way to do this to get the. Um, how do I draw an angle? Angle. Oh come on! There's a there's a thing I can use that lets me say this is the right angle. Um. Okay, hang on. I'm just gonna f this up. Okay, so what I really want here is a. Can I delete this? Nope, nope, can't do that. Um, so what I really want here is a something that's perpendicular to this line and goes through this point. That's an interesting theory, and it would be nice if that really worked. Which, I mean, it could. It could. Um, let's see. I'm spending way too much time on this uh, problem. Um, can I just give like a freaking... Okay. Leg point, vertex, and then intersect. Um, leg point, vertex, and then 90. I think that's correct. Nope, that's totally wrong. Um, uh, oh, I'm sorry, the vertex is F here. That's my bad. Um, leg point, vertex, 90. There we go. I want to change the color of that, though. Now, technically, this doesn't, if you look really carefully, this doesn't actually, oh, shit. This doesn't actually meet because I drew these by hand. I'm willing to live with that, though. And I guess while I'm doing this, I might as well do another one of these. Um, lead point, vertex. No, I was going to say, in this case, I need it to, to be the other direction. I need it to be leg point, vertex, 90 degrees clockwise. There we go. And now, just to clean some shit up, don't need you. Oops, do need you. Don't need to show you, though. Um, okay. I do not need you to be named, um, uh, actually, hang on. Now, this is, this is actually good. I think, I, I think maybe I've wasted way too much time on, on this, and it turns out the problem was actually very simple. Um, so what do I want to do here? I want settings. Oh, I don't want to show label. I don't want to show your label either, but we're also going to change these, uh, wait, I said don't show your label. But we're also going to change these to being different color. I think pink would be the color that I want. Because all right angles should be... Nope, that's gay. And when I say gay, I don't mean gay gay. I mean gay in the good way. Oh, uh, come on. What's a good color for purple? That's kind of nice. Uh. Now, the only part of this that I'm kind of fudging on is that is this is going to be a convex... I mean, it is, but well, we haven't proved that it's going to be convex. Okay, so this is what we're looking at. Let's see if we can zoom in a little bit. Oh, yeah. Baby like zoom. Oh, hang on, that's not what I meant to do. I meant zoom in from the... Um no, that's not what I meant to do either. Um, that's what I meant to do. It's a giant diagram! Uh, it's not big enough yet. <laughs> That's what she said. Okay. Uh, so let's go ahead and download this.
Um, I think if I'm going to name the other points, I do want to name this. So its label should be G. Yeah, there we are. Uh, okay. And this is angle FDG. I could probably just... I don't need a name for it. Okay. Download. And then... Let's see if XB is still doing our... No, it's not, so we can go to Xterm. Um, I'm going to guess this is GeoGebra export number two, because that's how they get named. Um, oh, that's nice. I like that. Still could use some cropping, but... And then we'll save it as student one. And we're going to save it as a GIF, because then it's not going to bug me about quality. Okay, fantastic. Okay. So this is a pretty pointless uh, answer now. Uh, you can compute the whatever the fuck it is you want. Okay, note that... that I suck. Note that. So this is, by the way, um, an example of how much time I wasted doing something that was very simple. So this is why I'm not really as efficient as maybe you think I am. Note that BFDG is a convex quadrilateral. I need to... S that's not even spelled correctly, but... Um, quadrilateral. Uh, it's a convex quadrilateral. God damn it. Um, so it's angles sum. Really? It's angles sum to 360. Um, since we know. Um, the circle, we know the inscribed circle, touches the angle uh, tangentially, big word, angles uh, BFD and BGD are both right angles with a measure of 90 degrees. Um, Therefore, uh, adding the angles together, we have alpha plus 90 plus 90. Oh, plus angle, what is that angle? FDG? I think I might be able to use the less than sign here. Therefore, angle FDG, the inscribed angle, is 180 minus alpha. That is supplementary to alpha. Wow. That was a major waste of time, so I'm very happy about that. Okay. Curious if anyone's already answered it. Um, there is no short answer to this. Um, oh, I need to. Phew, I almost forgot. Um, the statement does not appear to be true. Okay. And then, can I add an image, or is an image, are all images also just attachments? Um, home, user, download, student, one dot, come on. 
behave. Um, add units, let's see what this does. Okay. I'm kind of curious to what my answer looks like now. Um, didn't I just answer this? No, no, this is a different question that's almost identical. You do? Cool. Is the angle subtended by the center? Yeah, I mean, it's it's this angle here. It's the FDG or it's this angle here. I don't, is, do you have the revelation above and beyond what I have? I think you might. I think you might be knowing, um, uh, okay. I'm not sure what you're saying and I'm not really happy with this answer only because, um, there should be a way to draw this so it's tangential and this is, but you can't. Well, screw you. No. Um, what do you think I should be proving here? Um, unless you're saying that this angle is equal to itself. Um, I mean, clearly this angle is not equal to this angle. Um... The parameter that measures the arc is the angle subtended by the center. Um, so you're saying that this measure is alpha? Do you want to get onto Discord or? I, I'm not. I'm not fully understanding. Unless you're saying that alpha just the, literally the definition of angle subtended by the center. Um, is alpha, in which case it's just a, uh, there's, there's nothing there. So I'll wait for you to answer that, and while I do, um, okay. I've been going for about an hour and 38 minutes. I think I'm going to go for another 20 minutes or so and then call it. Um... Tell you what, I'll keep an eye on what you're saying, Milka Stramu, and I'll leave this diagram up, uh, but I will move on and try to answer another question, probably one that I will take forever in answering that isn't useful, because that's how I roll. Um, okay, this is a nice, nice little question here. Um... Let's let's do. I wonder if I should put this stuff into GitHub. I haven't so far. This is just in my somewhere. Let's go ahead and uh, copy the question. And again, I'm going to give an explanation that is so good that it's not very useful. Um. Okay. After the first year, the population has grown by 4% of 17,000, which is, yep, this is why I suck, 0 0.04 times 17,000, or I should be able to do this in my head, but I'm not. Um... Double the inscribed angle. That didn't help. I mean, I think I understand what you're saying. I mean, they're very, there's a big relation between these angles, and that's the point. Um, the measure of the intercepted arc, unless you mean the measure of the intercepted arc as viewed from the, from the uh, angle center instead of the circle center. Central angle is double the inscribed angle. Okay, uh, if you want to get on Discord and help me out, that'd be cool. If not, that's cool too. Uh, 680, okay. 
Um, the new population is 17,000 plus 680 or 17,680. After the second year, the population has grown. Don't worry. I'm going to, I'm not going to, I'm not going to take, okay, so no Pomodoro because I just don't want to. Um, but I'm going to not go ahead and do this 12 years at a time. It has grown by 4% of 17,680, which is 0 0.4 times 17,680, or, okay, well, I mean, you're free to get on to D Discord right now. I've got, I've got time. Um, where do you want me to tell you? Are you in my Discord? If you're in my Discord, I can, t I can announce, I probably should be announcing my streams there anyway. Uh, if not, where do you want me to tell you? If you don't want to reveal it here, contact me through some other method and let me know where you want to know about this stuff. Uh, what the hell am I doing? Oh, yeah. Um, 707.2. Um. Oh, okay. So you are on my Discord. Tell you what, I will promise from now on, if I can remember, to announce my streams on my Discord before I stream away. And then we could work together to defeat evil or create more evil depending on how we're feeling on a given time. Um, of course, there's no such thing as 0 0.2 of a person, um, but we're just estimating, approximating, so that's okay. Um, that brings the new total to 17,680 plus 707.2, which is, um, what is that actually? Something, something not useful. And don't worry, I'm gonna stop, I'm not gonna do this all the way. could keep doing this for 12 years, but there's a shortcut. Since we're adding 4% each year, that's the, th uh, the new population is 104% of the old population. Therefore, we are multiplying by 104% each year. 104% is the same as 1.04. If we multiply, uh, 17,000 by 1.04 12 times, we have something like this. Um, so this is like programming for retards. Um, another way to write that is using powers or 17,000 times 1.04 to the 12th power which gives us um i don't know what it gives us something uh, i need i really need a better way to be flipping between windows or i just remember something emacs actually has a shell mode that i could be using but anyway they uh, which we can round round to 
27,218 people. I get the feeling I did something. No, that's fine. That's fine. Um, okay. So now we will answer. This is like freaking harder than I thought it would be. I'm going to get rid of this extra. It's starting to annoy me. Um... Step by step explanation. Um, okay. I have no idea how um, how popular I'm getting with this or how many people like my answers. Um, Ooh, I have four notifications. Thanks for the answer. Ooh. Uh, so thanks for the help. Let's see. Um. Holy crap. Where's the comment, though? It did say comment on my answer, right? More? Um, okay. That's not very interesting. Um... Comment on the question you... Oh, 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 oh. Comment on the question. All right. So this is good. Let's just... We, we, we get this. Okay. So probably won't do this again. All right. Um, let's go ahead and... This one's probably not too hard. Um... Yeah, uh, aren't I amazing? Uh, this is too easy. This is actually 50%. Um, Sorry, too easy. Okay. Okay, well... I mean, this is kind of obvious, but I want to say... Because um, it, it has three... Um, I mean, the the difficulty here is the factors are 1, 2, and 4, but 2 times 2 is a fa you know, you can't count 2 twice. Um, law of cosines. Lots of fun. I don't want to do it. Well, let's see. Uh, let's see. You know, the law of cosines is not... You really can just gridify everything. Uh, <laughs> compensation of party clowns. Uh, anything with clowns in it. Um, um, oh, this is an... Okay. Um, okay. 90% of the sample means from similar samples. Yeah, that's what that means. Um, that doesn't make sense. Well, okay, this is stupid. Every, anything I can't answer is considered stupid. Um, this is another probability question. Normal distribution. Ooh, nice. Um... Normally distributed mu of n sigma 50 psi, a random sample of eight specimens is connected. What is the standard error of the sample mean? Well, the only thing I don't like about this is I would have to correct for the finite uh, sample issue. Um, so the sample mean 50 sigma over square root of eight, but it's really square root of nine. Nope, don't want to do it. I think I'm going to give up here in a second. 
Oh, this looks like a graph theory problem. Um... Okay, so this is actually pretty simple. Mm. So this is basically snow occurs and not roads open. Mm. Okay. Wow, this looks good. This looks really good. Find the arc length of the following curve on the given interval. X equals 18 minus 7. <laughs> Ooh, I like this. Um, so this is a par parametric equation. Xx equals 18 minus 7. Okay, okay. So the the length of the curve is nothing. Uh, what is the interval for t? 40 less than t le less than 4. Probably that doesn't make sense. Because uh, 40 is not less than 4. Um, that is an interesting question, though, in general. Um, the arc length. So that would be basically the square root of... So this would be this squared plus this squared, square rooted for the Pythagorean theorem, uh, integrated from the interval for t to t. Yeah, it's it's a little bit weird. Now, I want to make sure that's actually what I'm saying is correct, though. Because um, that's dx dt. Yeah, that is uh, right, right. dx dt. Um, oh, no, 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 no. Um, no, 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 no. That's, that's the actual values. Uh, dx dt, the change in x with respect to t would be, well, we have to flip this. How oh, do I want to answer this? Um, yeah, let me check. Let me see if I want to... I will decide by the... Okay. Uh, okay. Okay, dx d squared. So it's dx dt squared plus dy dt squared square rooted integrated over t. Um, the length of the curve is nothing. That is just an amazingly weird question. Uh, well, okay, technically, this is correct, because there is no value of t that satisfies that, that inequality, so there is no curve. But I get the feeling that's just kind of bizarre. Um, is it just a line? Oh, wow, I think you're right. Uh, you're right. Because you could write x in terms of y. Yeah, 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 you're right. We could simplify this to say, um, t equals y plus 6 over 15. And over here, um, yeah, you're right, that is a line. Um, oh, that could be, that could make more sense. That could, all right, so then if that you're correct, this is a um, yeah, you're right, this is the line. So I'm guessing if you did dx plus dt squared square rooted, you would get like six eighths. Oh, you would get a solid number, wouldn't you? Yeah, you're right. Um, yep, 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 yep. Um, in fact. If you did it my way, taking the derivatives and squaring them and square rooting them, the derivative of dx dt is constant and same for y. So you'd basically be integrating a constant um, over the length of t. So that is that is probably not useful. Uh, yeah, you're right. So now I'm bored. I'm not going to do that then. Two red cars, four green cars, and a f for the ride is assigned. Um, express your answer. So somehow blue cars got in there. So I, I 
don't think this problem is expressed correctly. Um, two red, four green, and two blue. I think what happened here is... And, okay. I think this actually belongs over here. But this is just sloppy cutting and pasting. I mean, jeez. Um... Both events, okay. So, both events, okay, so a guards will drive a red bumper car. Um, well, that probability is going to be 2 over 8, 1 fourth. And then, if that happens, oh, oh, yeah, but if that happens, there's only one red car left. So then the probability Patty will get that one is 1 over um, 7. So 2 eighths, which is 1 fourth, times 1 over 7 is 1 28ths, which is, I think, that number. But let me check. Yep, that is exactly that number. I'm not going to answer that, though. Um... Ooh, a little harsh, a little harsh. Um, no, they, they are, and they're trying to make it better. Um, but but um, there's fewer questions on here. Um, uh, and they're less real time. So if you're just trying to like do a run, this site's a lot better for that kind of thing. Unfortunately, I think I am now tired enough of this uh, that I'm going to go ahead and end the stream. I will promise to, um, if I stream again today or not, I will promise to or try to mention on my Discord in advance before I stream. Thank you for watching, everybody, and goodbye for now.